I know Brown is, is pretty good in the times that I've played him. So I, I haven't seen Shiro before, but I'm excited to see how this goes. Oh. oh. <laughs> or me, me Sword, Sword Fighter. Fighter. Interesting. You know, um, Sword Fighter, his setups come off these really, like, kind of slow projectiles. Uh, that's a hard pick into a reflector character. I'm curious to see how this goes. Uh, I mean, he can still make it work. He was playing uh, this, like, before tournament started. I don't know yeah. if he's... See, like, I exactly what I'm talking about right there. But it's, yeah. it's, the animation is just so predictable. Like, Especially if you're that far away, it's not going to be exactly. that useful. If he's kind of just waiting for you to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's a traditional uh, sword side B pick. So, uh, Most of the side beams are pretty bad, <laughs> if I'm being <laughs> real. Because <laughs> literally, uh, what is it? Swordfighter has a side B that's kind of similar to Ike's side B. But okay, right, right. Uh, if they hit an enemy, like, say they're recovering off stage or something, and they hit an enemy, and like they're near ledge, they won't grab ledge. Uh, it's so dumb. Oh, that's tough. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like, I get to not be after that, but I guess... I, guess I think they still get something afterwards, but it's like... Uh, right. Oh, okay, okay, I see. They just don't grab ledge. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah, Um. and, and doesn't have the Chakram, which is the, the usual uh, popular one, but anyways. It's time to kill confirm, and now typically what sword fighters look for, it makes a little past that percent, is either... Uh, you know, that tornado into up air or a down throw into up air. I think we're going to have to go with something a little less traditional here out of that percent range. He also has uh, that up B, so we could go for uh, okay. tornado, to, uh, tornado into that up B as well. Uh, oh, yeah, that's probably working a little bit longer even. Oh! It also works as a mash option in case, uh, I guess, I don't know if Falco's Nair is safe on shield. I'm hoping it's not. It's, it's not frame data wise, but uh, it can it can be tricky because the multi hits and um, that's it. But yeah, like there he did up B out of. Okay, that probably wasn't the best option. Maybe up tilt there, but. Uh, oh, so okay. I, I want to see Shiro punish that because he's been kind of. Uh, Brown has been going at that same like recovery angle almost every time where he goes as far as he can at that like flare blitz Ike side B type rain and then just going straight to ledge. So I, yep, right there again. And this time he does challenge it, but it doesn't quite secure the kill. Yeah, it's actually fairly easy to challenge that because I remember playing against this off stream as Meta Knight. Yeah. And I did Tornado. <laughs> tornado was out for like two seconds and I still beat it. <laughs> oh man, okay, so, yeah. Like, it's really bad. <laughs> Well, like, Turo, he has the idea, and he did he did go for it, but he just kind of probably could have picked a stronger move to challenge it. But let's see if he goes to that same recovery angle and that mixes it up this time. But Turo's still able to catch it and kind of waits and watches for him to go low. So good good edge guard there. He, he might have been able to get an up B there. Yeah, he went for the slower up there instead. Makes sense. Yeah. Ooh, combo here. Ends up with uh, Brown off stage. He's been at this sledge and off stage for quite a while, even going back into the previous stock. So it's been, it's been all true for the last 30 seconds or so. That was, those were a lot of pummels. That was a lot of pummels. I noticed the same thing. Like He, he caught him. I think he was looking at his control like, all right, he's, he's not touching anything. I'm going to keep going here. I like that. Ooh. You see, was like a few. I like those that double down tilt, but I don't. I don't like the burst option after. I think instead it kept going with the safe pressure and waiting for, for um, Shiro to pick a panic top. Oh, yeah, I don't win. necessarily mind it though, because if Shiro ended up, what is it? Uh, That's one oh Shiro. If he ended up actually doing anything, I already updated it. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. If uh, Shiro did end up doing anything, then he would have gotten hit, but. I guess if you wanted to play it safe, you could just keep down tilting, because I'm pretty sure that does uh, poke through shield. Poke eventually. Mm -hmm. And I think in that situation it would have, but now we're seeing Simon. Here comes the Simon, so we okay, got a, a more serious pick here. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly what we were kind of expecting. <laughs> oh, beautiful trapping between the... Uh, and again, again, this is a reflector character, and maybe that is why he hesitated to go Simon in the first place. Um, but, uh, you know, si the Belmont projectile game is a little more nuanced. There's a lot more to deal with. It's not, it's not quite as simple as just wait for a slow animation and press down B. So I think it'll 
be just fine in that regard. Ah, oh, that didn't go to ledge. That's very That's unfortunate. unfortunate. Yeah, it, it felt like it was just at that range. Um, I think if he angled it lower, it probably would have, maybe? Right. I'm not entirely sure. Good reflector there. And I like the way Brown's landing. As a character like Simon, when your disadvantage is so poor, he, he's really conserving those jumps. That, the first gimp was unfortunate, but I think I think he's doing a good job of maintaining his resources. Oh well, he's caught without wow, a jump. just as I say, say that he's caught without a jump, and, and look what happens. So that just goes to show how important it is to hold that jump when you're a character like Simon. Especially against Falco, who wow. Totally. Uh, one thing in this game that's so good is just like multi hits for edge guarding, especially with all like the, the different drag down possibilities. When you have a character with a predictable recovery, you can just kind of throw your multi-hit like somewhere in that recovery path, and it'll probably clip. So it's very dangerous. And unfortunately, Brown hasn't exactly been able to get any form of like setups off. And as a matter of fact, killing right now is going to be really hard too, because at this percent, I don't think there's that many stuff where you can kind of set up into a kill aside from like down B. Oh, totally. I mean, like, and Simon players are going to look for, like, an up B out of shield here, but Churro's not giving it to him. He's staying far away. He's not giving him any chance to, like, get that quick out of shield option that'll, that'll secure the kill. I, I like the way Churro's playing this. He's not letting up just because he has a large lead. Sticking with the game plan. Yeah, and it's not impossible for Brown, but it is still really difficult because of foul. Field. Yeah. Like, I'll, if I'll he definitely. just throws out a reflector early, any projectile that uh, Brown throws after. Exactly. And I like that he's generally thrown out at a range where, like, he's not going to be punished even if he's wrong. So, I mean, it, it's it's a really tough game plan to deal with, it looks like. So, beautiful. That'll, that'll take it. Yeah, it, it honestly seemed like Sword Fighter was actually a better answer there because yeah, huh? of, like, <laughs> you having less projectiles to work with. Maybe, you know, it was, the game kind of spiraled out of control early. Like, after that first, after that first, like, uh, edge guard when that, Tether barely missed. Um, that was unfortunate, and then he just couldn't take the stock after that. Yeah. I think that game could have gone differently, but um, just those two things were too much to overcome, and it just looked so dominant.